I'd just like to talk to uh, Chris about the su batch sizes and, and, and why is it important? Because there's been a trend really that supermarkets want a great deal of variety. And what does that actually mean from a cooking perspective, Chris? Well, the trouble is, in a normal industrial cooking vessel, you're cooking up to four tonnes. And the amount of time that it takes for that to actually empty out into your packaging, it takes hours. So you've got a continuous cook from where you started to where you finished that can last up to four hours. So, so putting your chef hat on, really, we want to have as small a batch as possible and then just be turning those round very quickly. Exactly, just like you do in all your top two, three star Michelin restaurants. You don't cook a massive pot of sauce and just slop it out to everybody as they come through the door. The chef actually prepares every batch separately and then serves it. And this is so exactly what's stopping us doing this in food? The moment, it's just people. People. They're constrained by these great big four ton vessels and nobody's actually turned up and said, but we, we could do, do it in saucepans, and there are companies trying to do these things in saucepans, but what do they end up with? They end up with a sea of people. Exactly. So what you're constrained by is you've either got masses of people that will make a sauce slightly different, so you've got masses of variation, or you've got these massive vessels that do tons of soup that's all the same, but it's not, because when you take it out as soon as it's ready, it's a nice, clear, lovely soup. So when the development team, Chris, came up with this concept of cooking batches down to 400 kgs, to doing them in parallel, all these things, from wearing the chef hat, what did you think? Well, I thought, this is where I want to be. That's why I'm here, because actually this is what we want. We want to be cooking sensible sized batches that we can pack off, we can cool off, and we can use with all the flair that you use in a normal restaurant, rather than having something that you develop and you know the first part out is the best that they can possibly make, but actually the last is bordering on... So, I, as the MD now, I'm, you've just told me, Chris, you can give me Michelin restaurant quality food using robots? Is this, is this, is this real? It is, it is.